kind of for terrorism or guys are doing security, but what you want to look for for, for mass for terrorist attacks, they want the body count. When they walk into a room, what has been their main uh, view is what they're looking for. They're not looking for the people standing on the side or some guy on the other side of the door that way. They're, they want bodies, right? So who's ever in the middle area is going to be dead first. So if you sit around, I suggest sitting on the perimeter, okay? And then not only that, where aisle seats are really good because then you can you have quick mobility to get out, to get down. If you're stuck in the middle, you're, you're done. I mean, you can hopefully get down, but that's all you can do. You're, you're pretty much stuck there, right? So you want to be as mobile as you can. And another thing is if something happens, even like for a fire, like we talk about that club where all those people lost their lives, you want to be along the wall, okay? Because you can feel where the are. If you get lost, you can get disoriented. If it's all black, this black smoke, you may not know where you're going. You're going in circles, right? It's kind of like being in the forest at night or something, you get lost. But if I know where the walls are, I can feel the corners. Even if there's a mass exodus and people will get trampled, you ever see, you know, see that? But if you stay near the wall, you can keep your stability. You, people are going to be pressing on you, but if you're, if you're in the middle, you can get tripped over something. The people will be falling, you'll be stepping on them. They might trip you. Once you're down, you're probably not getting up again. You'll be dead. You get asphyxiated and crushed. Uh, we were talking about knowing the exits, uh, escape routes. Look for possible weapons when you come into a room. Like, again, you have to use your fetish system. Like, every time you room, you don't have to do all this. But, you know, it's something you think, well, maybe I'm going to a political rally or something, or maybe some kind of pro-life uh, talk or something like that. And there's been a lot of controversy. People might show up. Okay, well, then I'm looking for what, where are the exits. I'm going to sit in a strategic spot. Uh, I might have whatever I can have on me personally to, to deal with stuff. That's the kind of stuff you want to heighten your awareness. You also want to look for able-bodied people that might be able to help in, a, in a, an emergency. Develop hypothetical scenarios of what might happen. If somebody comes in with a gun, what am I going to do? Okay, if you're a teacher, right? What if somebody comes in, an active shooter, he comes down the hallway, he's coming to your classroom, what are you gonna, what's your plan, what are you gonna do? Well, you get the kid, well, get, you get the kids around the perimeter, turn the lights off. Um, if they have anything they can use for concealment, because again, criminals are dumb, they may not know that you can't shoot through a, a metal folding chair, even though you can, but it's better than nothing. You can pick up weapons, uh, it could be shoes, keys, something. Uh, they actually, it's a really cool video, um, but you can actually see people take down an active shooter. And basically what happens is he comes in the room and everybody just jumps on him. They throw stuff, they jump on at the same time. You just psychologically overwhelm them. And he might get a shot or two off, one or two might die, but he won't be killing 15, 20 people. He'll take them out.